A man has been charged in connection to a 12 year old sexual assault cold case. Curtis Lee Fleming was arraigned today. Investigators say new DNA evidence shed light on this case and Rachel Ramsey was at the court arraignment today. She's here for you now with how this evidence was found so many years later. Sherry Siobhan Fleming was charged with third degree criminal sexual conduct, first degree criminal sexual conduct and kidnapping. Investigators say their sexual assault kit initiative is behind the findings that led to his charges. It doesn't matter uh, how much time goes by. We are still able to put forth an investigation that can show victims of crime that they're not forgotten. A crime in 2012 has finally gone to court with investigators saying there is now DNA evidence. That evidence was obtained through SACI, also known as the Sexual Assault Kit Initiative, where untested rape kits are tested in the hopes of striking a DNA match. Those untested sexual assault kits as part of the SACI initiative were ultimately funded through um, federal dollars to have all of those kits tested for uh, evidence and evidence by the way of DNA. And that's what they say they were able to do in Fleming's case. Officials found that there were more than 70 untested rape kits in Jackson County, and they have been processing them over the last few years, which has led to several arrests, but it's not easy. These are the most difficult cases I've ever investigated. Jackson County's prosecuting attorney says many times a perpetrator will have multiple victims, so this program can help connect the dots between different assaults as well. Basically means that the positive impact for a sexual assault victim gets multiplied because you can help other victims as well. Jackson and Ingham counties are working together on the program. Officials say without it, these cold cases would never have a chance to be solved. You know, it sends a, a message to a, a perpetrator that, you know, we haven't given up on these cases. Uh, we are pursuing them. And it's also a really good supportive message to a sexual assault victim that, you know, we're still pursuing these cases. No bond was set for Fleming, and his next court appearance is scheduled for March 6th. Police are asking, if you believe you have been a victim of a crime like this, reach out to Detective Joseph Merritt. Back to you.